Shalom, call out Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shabbat Shalom to the apostles and leaders that rule well and PC brothers out there that's kicking his word. Uh, this is church, and people wonder why you have a lot of people out there, you know, that are leaving these churches. Well, this is the filth that you see in these churches. Now, this is big, ever extreme example, but. Nevertheless, this is a church, and you don't have anybody that's speaking up against this. This is Thaddeus um, uh, Matthews. I bet your church to st st stick up. I mean, I bet he meant stuck up. Stuck up to have fun. So for Sunday in the gym of Naked Truth, Liberation, and Empowerment Ministries every Sunday from 3 to 6 p.m. So they're having twerk contests in the, in the gym, you know. And this is the wickedness that we've seen, you know, in the, our forefathers seen uh, Ezekiel. Things like this, man. Women worship. Okay. Ezekiel 8 and 14. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the of Yahweh's house, which was towards the north. And behold, there said uh, women weeping for Tammuz. And who is Tammuz? But the news was a was a, a Babylonian deity. And we have a lot of, well, the majority of these churches. That's what they worship when they, when they worship the Trinity and things of that nature. Well, that goes back to Babylonian customs. You see, and within these Babylonian customs, they will worship uh, the woman, Asherah, and things of that nature. That's why soon you have uh, Easter coming up. You know. You gonna have our people running around with Easter basket, uh, baskets, trying to uh, collect eggs. Well, that's representation of what fertility. You see, and that's the same spirit that our women are in now, worshiping of uh, women. You see, and this is what you and with that spirit, you see all types of lewdness in these churches, man, and that's. What you just seen was an extreme ex example in Salakia, you know, if, you know, that offending anybody by me playing that, man. But this is, that needs to be seen. But, you know, this is why people are leaving the churches because these churches are, are, are nothing but whorehouses for ex-freaks, if you will, you know, that are slowed down on, on bopping. You know, and decided to get their, their, themselves over to the Lord, supposedly. But, you know, they still uh, got their ways about them, man. And this is what the church is producing. And this is why people are, losing, uh, are leaving the churches. Verse 15. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of Yahweh's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of Yahweh, between the porch and the altar, were, were about five and twenty men with their backs towards the temple of the Lord, and their faces towards the east, and they worshipped the sun towards the uh, the east. And what they do? Do these churches typically worship on Sunday? Why is that? Because it's sun worship. You see? Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? 
it is a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here. And, you know, is it a light, a light thing that to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? That's right. So the most I ask like, they don't, they don't care that they commit these abominations, man. Which is really beautifully written. It's a rhetorical question. These people have set in their minds that they are right. And they're going to do whatever they want to. There is no standard in these so-called black churches. And that's why people are, are leaving, man. You want to talk about love. Love for these people are synonymous with uh, acceptance. You know? Acceptance of... And more uh, specifically speaking, acceptance of evil. You see, that's why you had uh, Alton John making a um, vid saying that, you know, we shouldn't, homosexuals uh, should be respected and, and treated equally. Well, according to the scriptures, you know, that's actually very, con that statement is very contrary. Because according to the scriptures, a homosexual is supposed to be put to death. You're you're not supposed to allow lewdness, you know, in your communities. But with Christianity, anything goes. And now you have people, middle aged women, 40, 40 and up. They had to be at least 38, 36, 38, twerking in a so called church. For they have filled the land with violence. And have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch through their nose. Therefore will I, I also deal in my fury. My eyes shall not spare. Neither will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice. Yet will I not hear them. Man. See, when we bring a scripture like that, that out. You know, we, we're, we're considered uh, a hate group. Because we're letting people know that. The most is going to judge, man. You, do you really think that you're going to be able to get away with all this madness, this lewdness in the church? In your life? And the most high isn't going to judge, man? You think you that you could just treat the most high as if this, he's, a, he's a genie? To sin willfully because you're on a grace and just ask for forgiveness and you good? These people out here have the most high, you know... Sadly mistaken, man. And we're soon, as this economy get worse and worse, people are going to know and understand the fear of the most high, man. Jeremiah 5 and 7. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children shall forsaken me, have forsaken me, and sworn by them that are no gods. Will I... When I feed them to the full, they then they commit adultery and assemble themselves by troops in the uh in the holy houses. They were as fed horses in the morning, every one night after his neighbor's wife. That's right. So you see all these you know, these mega churches and things of that nature. And all these people are going into these these various churches and they're worshiping something that's not uh, that's not a god, you know, Jesus and all this. And they're not a deity of the scriptures. It isn't. And they're going to these uh, various churches to commit all types of abominations. Man, you'll go to a mega church and see, uh, you know, all types of abominations, man. You know. Or hear about all types of abominations. You got men in the churches they, they are sleeping with another man's wife, and that's an in norm to have gossip like that in the church. You know. So what is the most I going to do? Shall I not verse nine? Shall shall I not visit for these things? Said Yahweh. And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? So the Most High is going to send wrath to two thirds of our people because they refuse to turn back to the Heavenly Father. You see, now that the Hebrew Israelites are getting 
more and more popularity. People are not going to have an excuse. And it's a good thing that, you know, we were on CNN. It's a good thing, you know, spiritually speaking, because now the, the platform is being open. And we have a lot of people out there. They are OK. Uh, OK. What's going on with these churches? What would deem us as terrorists? You see, when the church has been terroristic to the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans community for centuries, man. And it's, well, how, how, how has it, you know, one might ask, because it condones wickedness, man. And that clip that we seen was a small example. You see? And so the most I would judge without mercy for our, uh, on, uh, to, uh, towards our people who refuse to turn back to the will and to the way of the Heavenly Father via His Son, Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 65 and 2. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. And that's what you see. That you see in, in that clip. That has nothing to do with the scriptures. Talking about, uh, I bet your church is too stuck up. <laughs> Man, bro. It sounds like somebody in the world. You know? A people that provoke, provoketh me to anger continually to my face that sacrifices in great gardens and burn incense upon altar of bricks which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments which eat, eat a swine's flesh and broth of abomination abominable things uh, is in their vessels and our people do that our people eat pork you know broth of abomination gumbo you go, you go to a, a winter festival to at these churches, and they have all types of abomination laid out: pork, you know, what I'm saying crab, goddamn gumbo. And wonder why the hell they they dying off. Which say, stand before thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose. And fire that burns all the all the day. That's right there. These people really think that they're holy and look down on people <laughs> who don't engage in their actions. You see, and they're annoying, man. Very annoying. That's why the most I describe them as is smoke in, in my nose. You ever, you know, been barbecuing and can't really see any smoke getting all in your eye? Whatever. Well, that's all people. That's what they're liking to. Just hella annoying, man. And dumb and sottish. Verse 6. Behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosoms your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith Yahweh, which have burned incense upon the, the mountains and blaspheme me upon the hills. Therefore, will I measure their former work into their bosom? That's right. So <laughs> the Most High is going to send harsh judgment on our people, man, who have been doing this for decades, centuries, bro, committing all types of abominations. And we in that time of judgment. If you are in these churches, man, it's time for you to get out of there, man. The churches are not giving you any answers. They're not pushing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh they're pushing all types of lewdness, man. And really, if you want to get technical, they're putting pushing Satanism. If you look up the doctrine of Satanism, it basically goes into whatever you deem is right, do it. Which is Antichrist, man. Yahweh Shah didn't die on the sin, so you could just willfully sin, man. And that's what they push in these in, the, in these churches. So whoever have ears to hear, let them hear. Let them hear and get out of them churches, man. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Yashim, Yahweh Shah.